Fancy seeing you here, Chargers. Good morning and welcome to your April 12th edition of DP News. I'm Olivia Deveni. And I'm Ashley Oaks. On today's show, we'll be covering... Grand Duchy. Miss Carrie's announcement. And more. Thank you for tuning in to DP, DP News. News. We'd like to give a big shout out to our accomplished seniors who have signed to a university to play a sport. This Thursday at lunch in the gym on the National Athletic Signing Day, these student athletes will be honored. Next year's prospective leadership class, make sure to attend it again this Thursday at lunch in the gym. Are you interested in donating blood? Then go and sign up in the athletics office or online at tinyurl.com slash dpbloodapril16 and fill out the permission slip forms to make sure that you are eligible to donate. Don't be negative. Your donation will not go in vain. Oh. Those who donate <laughs> will be entered in a raffle to win a $25 Starbucks gift card. The date of the blood drive is April 26. Don't forget to pre-order your Grand Duchy tickets at dptheatercompany.org. For opening night, which is Friday the 15th, tickets are $10 for students and $14 for adults. Now over to Jeffrey Chow at the theater. You're in front of the theater, checking out how our theater company is producing their new play, The Grand Duchy. And let's see how our actors are doing. Oh, hey, 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 look, it's the main role, Val. Oh, hey, Jeffrey. Luke Williams. Hey, Luke. How's it going? It's going pretty good, Jeffrey. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I heard you been playing, I mean, it's been really rough on you in the past week. I mean, <laughs> like, look, I mean, here, hey, man, get yourself some lunch. Don't worry. Take a break, man. You deserve a break. You're good. Let's go. Hey Jeffrey, okay, yeah. can you, let's see, I challenge you to match my pitch. I'm gonna sing a note and you have to match it. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh. 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 You guys know that we had this? Uh, yeah, we're gonna put this dress on. Oh, and we're gonna see who could do it faster, me or Sophia Ross. I have a lot of practice, so. Oh man. Here we go. Well, let's go. Go! I got a too big butt. Now. Oh, I'm never wearing a dress again. That's not true. Not until prom. Thank you for letting me do this. I mean, I just did an amazing, I think I did an amazing part as your role as well. Yeah, I mean, it was so, I mean, easy. Don't worry about right, it. Right, right. Right, yeah. So you're ready to go for uh, Thursday, right? You know, next Thursday. When we open. Hello, and then the show after that. The show after that. What, we have, you know. We in the theater, here we are, ready to go, and we're gonna go far. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be grand. Come and see Grand Duchy next and stand. I don't, I'm not, I'm not gonna write it. Thanks, Jeffrey. We'll see you all at Grand Duchy. Now, speaking of things you don't want to miss out on, have you bought your yearbook yet? If not, go to dpyearbook.org, because time is ticking, and you do not want to miss out. Now, here's an announcement from Miss Carey. DP, Principal Sean Carey here to talk to you about an important event taking place next week. First, do you know what this document is? This is a Dos Pueblos High School diploma, and it has an expiration date of 2016. So if we want our diplomas to mean anything beyond 2016, we have to be accredited as a school. The way you get accredited by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, or WASC, is to conduct a self-study, which we've been doing for the last 18 months, and to have ultimately a visit by a committee from WASC 
who ensures that the self-study that we've produced matches the reality on our campus. Next week, that visiting committee will be on campus, arriving on Sunday, departing on Wednesday, and again, they're checking to ensure that the same areas of strength and areas for growth that we've identified for ourselves match what they are seeing. So it's a time to be what DP is every day, which is a positive, inclusive, dynamic, and academically focused school. But it's also time to put our best foot forward. So you'll see that with your teachers and other staff members. You'll see that with your coaches and with office staff. Hopefully, your teachers will take a little time today and, and throughout the week to prepare you all for what it means to be visited by a WASC visiting committee. Ways that you can help as students are to make sure that the campus stays clean, so pick up after yourselves, pick up trash that is left behind by others even if you see it. Uh, make sure that you stay in class as much as possible. If you need to leave class, make sure you have a pass. And thank you for just being, in general, the kind, friendly, welcoming student body that you are each and every day. Uh, thanks again, DP. You make it a great place to come to work every day. Have a great Tuesday. Bye. Still looking to achieve those graduation requirements of 60 hours? Tomorrow is the perfect opportunity. La Patera Elementary School is having their fundraiser at High Sierra Grill and Bar on Wednesday, April 13th from 4 to 9. Volunteer tasks include face painting, balloon creating, supervising children while they play games, and keeping them in line. Head over to the Career Center for more info. Now let's send it over to Friday Night Live Youth Coalition with info about their swag swap, which will begin today and continue until Friday. That's all for your campus news, Chargers. Ashley and Olivia signing out. Our sports report. cross team to an 8-2 overall record in league and she was honored individually for her great game against Santa Barbara last Thursday scoring four goals to help the girls win 11-9. On the lacrosse note, boys lacrosse has a big game at Laguna today at 4 so be sure to wish our boys luck. We have a bunch of games today as Will Parker and the DP boys volleyball team plays Ventura in a home at home in a big league match. The boys are 3-1 in league and hope to continue playing well so be sure to come out and fill up the gold mine. Varsity Boys Golf is off to a great start this season at 3-1 and they hope to continue their success today against Oxnard at our Glen Annie course at 1. Zach Steinberger and the guys look to continue hitting the ball well as they know their course well and they should end up on top as usual. Varsity, varsity Baseball looks to stay undefeated in league when they play against rival Santa Barbara. Kevin Gowdy will be pitching, a UCLA commit and a potential first round pick in the upcoming MLB draft. Baseball beat him last time 6-2 in front of over 15 professional scouts, and we get another chance to beat him today at 315 at home. Come out and support to see a wild game. That's all for your sports support TP. Now Vernon Andini with current events. Hey DP, I'm Nandi Nimberganza, your current events reporter. And today I have four students from the Riviera Robotics program here to tell us some exciting news. Riviera Robotics is a student-run robotics team started by Callie Zhang, Amy Dixon, and Graham Wern. They started this team to participate in FIRST Robotics. So can you tell me a little bit about your team and who is on your team? Uh, so we have around 20 students from the Santa Barbara area. Uh, mainly from DP, but there are a few students from San Marcos. Okay, and what did your robot have to do in this year's contest? So basically the challenge this year was called First Stronghold, and it's medieval based, so it kind of simulates like breaching castles, 
So you have to go over defenses and shoot in like high or low goals and then climb a castle. Um, and like everything has different point systems and okay. yeah. Okay, and what was your first regional and how did you do? Um, our first regional was Ventura two weeks ago and we did decently well in qualification matches. It wasn't the greatest, but then we were picked on the third alliance by Los Cemeteros, 58-02. And we went all the way to the finals where we lost eventually to the Beach Bots and Grey Bots. It was okay, pretty good cool. though. <laughs> and I understand that you guys went to the Boise, Idaho for the second regional, and what happened there? So Boise, Idaho was during spring break, and we actually ranked a lot better in Idaho. We were the third seeded team, which means that we were an alliance captain, and we got to choose our own team. Unfortunately, we only got to the semifinals in Idaho, um, but we ended up winning the Rookie All-Star Award, which is why we were able to go mm -hmm. to the championship. Okay, cool. And what are you most afraid of slash excited for going into the world championships? I think that we're um, just afraid because the world is going to be completely different, like the game is different, so, well not really, it's just how it's set up, like there are four robots on each team instead of three, and like there are four days of competition <laughs> instead of three, but yeah, I think we're all excited to go to St. Louis and that we're going to the city museum and possibly the arch. <laughs> Alright, well thank you and good luck. <laughs>